Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Blindly Plays Persona 4 Golden today. Well, I guess we're probably just gonna go straight to bed, right? We're tired. We don't have we don't really have any activities to do yet. We might try to stick to the 30 minute time limit that I imposed on this series today. I don't know. Be be kind of new seeing how the last ones have been like almost 50 minutes each. But alright, let's go back up to our room. I guess we're not going up to our room, we're just going to bed. Now it's Friday. Mm, we have to go to school on Saturdays, though, right? Because it's Japan. That's just sad. Is that a skirt? Oh. You know, I liked her. She seemed like a nice lady. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. I'll have fun finding one of my classmates dead. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. All right. Yeah, I mean, she's a little girl worried about her dad. That's not surprising. Oh, Yosuke, uh, Yosuke's gonna be kind of upset, isn't he? That was a friend of his. You can hear a girl's gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? A lot of umbrellas. Yelling, but nothing Not more. umbrellas, sirens. Total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Yes. That's not right. That's wrong. Yeah, we should go to school. We are students, after all. You get all the deep... Actually, I can hear... <laughs> I hear sirens in real life. I actually thought that was in the game. Hey, did you see it yesterday? But no, that's actually just down the street. Not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Oh, hey, I wonder why. It's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. Why are you wearing that? Is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. Is that the principal? I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement. Why do all the teachers look so weird at school? One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of class three has passed away passed away <sighs> ms konishi was found deceased early this morning the reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police if they ask you for your cooperation i urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts Was she targeting because she saw the dead body? Like she found it? All right, please quiet down. Or maybe. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. What does that mean? Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> Also, that's kind of a graphic way to die, Jesus. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. Hmm. It's gotta be a serial murder case. I mean, I'd imagine. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? Yeah. Sounds like someone had a nightmare. Oh my Maybe god, the Midnight Channel is just a channel of the victims being tortured so to death, isn't it? just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, 
Did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, <laughs> just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? It's a channel of death, not love. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? Maybe not that they're not that they're appearing, that they're actually there. Something tells me I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, I mean, yeah. What do you think? I think that's like the core of the game, probably. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Oh, we're going back. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. Hopefully we get some combat this time. I'll find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. That's true. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. Am I? Am I? Ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Uh, Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels, but we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? No, let's go with him. He's going to need help and actually want to fight things. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. That's what that's what I'm saying. Uh, would you like to save your pro I mean, I guess so. This uh the uh This intro seems a lot more cutscene heavy than Persona 5. Though I guess that might not be completely true, right? Because when you start Persona 5, it you're pretty much jumped into their dungeon of sorts. And then you have a lot of cutscenes until you get back into the 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 dungeon area. This one we've kind of just been having cutscenes. We had one combat thing which was scripted, obviously, and we couldn't really do anything. Um but just what the hell, dog? Really? You guys came. We came to stop you. I came to go with him. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. No, we're going. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but What about you? Could you just walk away? No, I'm coming with you, dude. Uh, that doesn't involve... This doesn't involve... I can't leave it alone. I'm worried about Chie. I mean, I am kind of worried about her. She seems to be making a big stink of all this stuff. And Though she probably knows, like, martial arts from all the martial arts movie. Uh, I can't leave it alone. I can't leave it alone. Yeah, I thought not. 
I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of That sounds like a bad plan. Huh? What's that? A rope? Oh, you can't have her pull you out. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on. Yeah, please. so don't mess this up, Chie. Here. This is for you. I got a sword. Golf club. I had a sword though last time I got into combat. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. Thanks for the medicine though. Right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. <laughs> She's gonna let go of the rope. Hey! I said wait! Or you dragged in with us, right? How big is this rope? Oh, there it goes. See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? Well, you just left your two friends to die. Maybe? I don't know. Did we fall again? Yeah, we fell again. Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. Good to know. You guys, why'd you come back? We have questions, and you have answers. I also have a you golf club this time. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. Hit him with the golf club. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. What was that? Shut up. Yeah, shut up. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Maybe. Uh, uh that probably is it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here? Intending to kill them? If that's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. But you let us out. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Li what? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. Oh, then come with us. Here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. I have this golf club. Sh yeah, shut up. See, so it is you guys. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. How do you know that? It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. I got a lot of questions. I'm going to keep asking them. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. 
I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprit. Get the golf club. Uh, I'm just making sure. Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? The Midnight Channel thingy? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Uh, you know, always been like this? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. This is you're true. The real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. <laughs> what the hell are you? It's empty inside. <laughs> Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. I mean, I think that's the plan. Or else, I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little. This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then, and then, I. <laughs> oh God! Don't cry. Why are you crying? Stop crying. What are you crying for? All of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Yeah, that's an understatement. The mysterious beer is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the other uh, uh, the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you. He wants you to find the real culprit. Yes, this is true. The mysterious beer seems serious about this. I, yeah. Hey, what should we do? Get the golf club. Uh, you remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that he uh, that will be thrust upon you? What was that contract Igor spoke about? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? Find out next time on Dragon Balls. I mean, uh, in any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Uh, I promise. Thank you. Damn bear, practically holding a gun to our heads. I don't think he can hold anything. He doesn't have thumbs. It looks like. Things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy. <laughs> Figures. But how yeah, that's what the intro said. Culprit in the first place. I don't know. Oh. But I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Sounds oh, good. One thing first. You two should put these on. Glasses? What are these glasses for? Oh. If you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? Oh, they're not monsters, well, they're shadows. Like, I mean... You're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. 
No way. I've got no muscles. Literally. Oh, he's I'll empty. Give you guys, moral support from a safe distance. Sounds How's good. That sound? <laughs> Can Teddy really not fight? Uh, try touching Teddy. No. <laughs> now I feel bad. I said touch, not push. Is this thing for real? We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? Was. That doesn't matter right now. She Anyways, was a victim. Now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. What? Are we supposed to be following Wait. him? this place it looks just like the shopping district what's going on here some weird places have appeared here recently things are getting so tangled I, I don't know what to do hmm uh, by the way why are you standing so far from us you better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up <laughs> of course <laughs> I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> How can you blush with no blood? Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? I don't think they did anything How like that. This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. This was a, Was this the reporter lady that died here? We're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Hmm. Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Well, don't worry, I have a golf club. Huh? They have masks. Oh, I thought that was just gonna be like a Persona 5 thing. Get the golf club. Are you guys fusing? Oh, that's disgusting. I am thou. Thou art I. Well, thou better get out here and help me. Nice creepy smile. So Ooh, I like the music. What was its name though? Alright, I like it. Is it battle time? Alright, I want me my golf club. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can do like an all-out attack. This one has a weakness too. Is it lightning? Step out and see what works. I hope it's lightning, because I think that's all I have. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapon and skills to strike enemies' weakness and get one more attack to get the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weaknesses, uh, they get an extra attack too. So always keep your enemy's weakness and your your own in mind. Let us try... Wait, what? Iza Naga, Anagi? Iza Nagani? Can you say his name for me, please? 
He's a Nagi. All right. You do that. You can check uh, known information about the enemy with the analysis command or by pressing the L button. That didn't tell me anything, though. It literally does not tell me anything. Maybe, maybe you like... Man. Oh, do I actually have to select it? Okay. Don't give up. It's weak to electricity. Yeah, I know. Doc, and it's gonna die, too. I'm not sure how I feel about the music so far. I mean, in the battle music. It's, it's, it's catchy. It is catchy. Soul drops aren't bad, though. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. I have leveled up. Your HP and SP have increased. Uh, you're now able to create personas up to level two. Uh, you, hey, I've earned a trophy. That's right. This game probably has trophies. The only other game I played on the, the PS television, the PS uh, TV, was uh, Final Fantasy III, so, and that didn't have trophies. Here are you. He has faced something. He has retained the facet, uh, facet, the facet use to facade. Whoa, what? What was that? Did I hear you say Persona? Yeah. What was it? It was a I Persona. Mean, what did you do? I called force a demon. You I can do it too? No. Probably. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty. You're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Yes. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei <laughs> and then don't show me any respect? Well, you didn't do anything. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? No, I mean, it was all right, I guess. I didn't really do anything, though. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Are we gonna go through here? I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Your voices. Voices begin from to echo from somewhere. If this Jeunesse would go under. It's all because of that store. Huh. What the? Oh. I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? Money! I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Ah, uh, you guys are assholes. Hey, Ted! You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. No, oh, it's a television screen-ish thing. Again. I guess those have been there since in this, the world. Hard to see on the outside, though. Begin to hear a man yelling. So how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? I mean, I, I feel like we should go visit her dad. These photos. Hey, is this? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Uh, scrap the photo show Saki Konishi smiling. Yusuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? 
I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain <laughs> in the ass. I don't think that's real, though. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. Then why would you work there? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. <laughs> so this just Shadow Yosuke? <laughs> Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. I can see how that can become boring. What are you saying? That's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Ooh, do tell. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. Uh... What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other. I don't quite believe that. True. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. He did seem to actually want to find out, so... These are just like his deepest, darkest, probably, like, feelings. I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! We need to awaken your persona and then he can disappear. <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Hm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Are you transforming? Is it boss time? Oh, he's unconscious. Teddy, can you look after... That is a, that is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Can you look after him? Because apparently it's boss time. I am a shadow, the true self. Well, that's not true. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. I mean, wind of oblivion. I'm weak to wind. I'm weak to this boss. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. I will be careful. You feel threatened. Just defend yourself. Okay. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Uh, select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness and status ailments, uh, status ailments uh, attacks cannot, can be blocked. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, you will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. 
Well, that is good advice, and I will definitely take that into consideration next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head on my video so I can check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on over to twitch.tv slash and give me a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.